and welcome back to Style Mom XO. If you guys are new, hit that red button down below. Join the family here. My channel is all about making mom life just a little bit easier for you guys. Today I have an empties video. So my kids are waiting for me to go ahead and film this so we can head over to Walmart. So I'm going to try and bust through this really fast before they start being in the background. Mom, mom, mom. <laughs> so I have everything across the board from cleaning to beauty to pretty much everything. So we are gonna jump right into this. If you guys wanna see a fun empties video, then go ahead and stay tuned. First thing in the box, I have the box right here next to me, is this Method Daily Granite Cleaner. This is probably one of my favorite granite cleaners that I have ever used. We've had different types of granite and I would have to say that this has done the best out of everything I've used before. So definitely if you guys are looking into a granite cleaner that really does polish and everything, this is definitely the one for you. Um, this is in the scent Apple Orchard and I love this scent. I get this right off Grove Collaborative. I do have a link down below. If you guys are a new sign up, you guys get free products. If you guys are an existing sign up and use my link, then you get free, I believe it is walnut scrubber sponges. So definitely go ahead and check out the link below. They just deliver cleaning products straight to your door that are healthy for you and your family and everything like that. So next thing up is this Tide Sport laundry detergent. I love the sport just because down here in the desert, it, it gets really, really hot. And then my husband works out and I work out. And this just really helps, the sport one really helps your clothes, your workout clothes, get that like workout scent out of your clothes, if you know what I mean. You guys work out and you guys know exactly what I'm talking about, but we love Tide. I kind of go back and forth between other things, um, but we just prefer Tide. So this is something even the kids are okay with this, like their skin and everything. Nobody's allergic to it. So that is what we use and we went through all of that. So after I went through that, I started using the pods. <laughs> And I love the pods. I feel like it's like a love-hate relationship with the pods because they go so fast, but yet they're so convenient. So I don't know. I'm still kind of undecided whether I want to go back to the liquid or continue using the pods. I think I'm going to continue using the pods. I just need to like see if they're at Costco or something or order them off Amazon in bulk. So if you guys know if I could do that, go ahead and let me know down below. But we went through an entire bag of the pods as well. As far as a softener goes, I love Downy. Downy, we either use this Till one, which is what set? Botanical Mist, I believe it is, or I'll get the purple. So it just depends what they're in stock of, what they're out of stock of, but I always go ahead and get Downy the Till one or the purple one. So I had tried it this Purex one. It was a long time ago. I had got this for like, I want to say two dollars at CVS so that's the reason why I picked up a couple of these and so I went through three of these in total three or four actually um, and again it was because it was on sale like I said I'm not strictly a Tide person but I prefer Tide but when I see a good deal I know a good deal when I see it next up is this Mrs. Meyers clean it day hand soap in the scent peony i would have to say this is one of my favorite scents i got this from their spring collection and it lasted so long and i just it is one of my favorite scents every single time it comes out it is definitely one that i gravitate to i'm not really a like mint person mint i believe was one of the other spring scents but this peony one is life once again i got this over at grove moving on to a hair product is this baltiste and this is a dry shampoo. I have mentioned this on my channel numerous times. It is my favorite dry shampoo. I get this right at Ulta. You can get it at Walgreens, Target, um, pretty much anywhere these days. I've been seeing them pop up more and more, uh, but I just get it at Ulta because it gives me a reason to shop online or go inside Ulta store and spend way too much money. But they have a different scents. They have, I believe one for like red hair, um, blonde, and everything like that. This one is for brunettes and it has a brown cast so you don't get that white cast in your hair. But I just absolutely love this. Have to have it on standby at all times. In fact, I think my next one is pretty much out. So 
that just means that there's gonna be an Ulta haul coming up here soon. <laughs> Next up is I used this shampoo and it worked okay. I wanna say that this is my favorite. It was just okay. It smelled really good. I love anything coconut, so this has coconut in it and it smelled really good, but I would have to say it was not my favorite at all. Next up is this Mario Badescu facial spray. Um, this is the aloe, cucumber, and green tea one. I have also used, they have a rose, um, red rose kind of scent as well. I prefer the cucumber, aloe, and green tea one. It just smells so good. As you guys can see, you guys can get this over at Ulta. It smells so good. I'll spray it on my face at nighttime before I do my makeup. If I want just like a nice hydration throughout the day, I'll go ahead and spray it on. But it just makes your skin feel so good, especially for summertime down here. It gets so stinking hot in California that I just need that extra mist. And it just refreshes your face so much. So that is actually something else I would need to be picking up over at Ulta when I go. So this I placed in here, it's not completely gone, but this is the Soap and Glory, the Fab Pore Purifying Foam Cleanser. So I got this and it has, if you like the mint scent and you like the like full on mint tingling on your face, then you guys will love this. I'm gonna see if my husband wants to finish it out, but this is something that I just did not really like the scent. And then I felt like it was cleaning my face, but wasn't like cleaning, cleaning my face, if that makes any sense. So I am a big Soap and Glory fan. I love their lotions but not feeling the the foam cleanser just mm -mm. next up is this meisler water i'm sure you guys have seen this everywhere um i get the pink lid i think they have three they have the blue which is the waterproof one which i don't really wear waterproof makeup so i don't get that one then they have the green lid for sensitive skin but the pink one is the original it's just the regular one that they came out with and it does fine on my face so i'm completely fine with this one so i'm like eh, why go ahead and try the sensitive one <laughs> even though i have sensitive skin when the pink one is doing just fine but basically if you guys are unfamiliar with a micellar water it goes ahead removes your makeup cleanses and refreshes your face um, it doesn't sting your eyes, doesn't sting your face at all. It just takes off your makeup nicely and then you're able to go ahead and wash your face once you get in the shower and everything. If you are a busy mom and don't have time to always jump in the shower at nighttime, you can go ahead and remove your makeup with this and then it cleanses it as well. Um, but I usually like to give my face an extra cleanse. But this, I need another one. Obviously Ulta, I'm coming for you. <laughs> A lot of people ask what I use for my toothpaste because Kimberly, your teeth are so white and everything like that. And I drink coffee probably three times a week. Um, so the toothpaste that we always use is Colgate Total. Uh, this is the whitening one and we have used this Colgate Total for years and I don't think we'll ever go to anything else. So we have a couple tubes of this that we have gone through. We are a degree family well me and my husband my son's actually allergic to everything other than the tom's brand but me and my husband go ahead and use this and we recently went through one of them each um obviously we go through them more often during summertime around here but he likes the extreme blast and is the scent that he usually uses and then i get the like pure clean scent so I have gone through several of these concealers. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I usually use it in 25, right? 25, yeah, 25, which is medium. Um, and this for me is just the best drugstore concealer that I have found. I really, really, really love it. And it's affordable. You can get it right at your drugstore, Walmart, Target, anything like that. It's just a really great concealer and it's affordable. So can't go ahead and beat that. Now jumping in a little bit high end, this is the IT 
Your Skin But Better CC Cream, and this has SPF 50 in it. I did go ahead and buy this a couple months ago, and I tried the travel size. If I can get something that I'm trying out in the travel size first to see if I like it, that's what I do, and I love this. So this is in the color, I believe, medium. Yeah, medium. Um, and this works okay for right now, but I think I need another shade darker. So I don't know, I need to look at their shades to see if they have a darker one. But this is something that I'm definitely gonna be repurchasing, especially for summertime. So something else that me and my husband recently tried was this Clean and Clear Morning Burst Facial Cleanser. I wanna make sure I go ahead and get that right. This worked really, really, really good. The pump stopped working though. So the product inside is amazing. I will probably go ahead and buy this again inside the future. Uh, my husband likes it. I liked it. It removed my makeup quite well when I was in the shower and didn't take it off before I went inside. Um, it worked good on my sensitive skin. It didn't break me out or anything, but like I said, the pump stopped working. So it was hard because it's like you unscrew it and you take the one and put it on your hand or you're pouring it in and water's getting inside. So I'd have to say that that was one of the downfalls. But other than that, if you have sensitive skin and looking for a over the counter facial that doesn't cost a lot, that is definitely something for you guys. So go ahead and definitely check that out. I believe I got ours at Target. So that is it for my empties. If you guys like these videos, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you guys exit on out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time, we will see you guys in the next one. Bye, you guys.